So hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, today we'll be look, taking a look at this F4E Phantom 2, 148 scale from Metallaray. So let's get into uh, the instructions. So taking a look at our instruction sheet, you see here we have our parts map. We have four sprues of light gray plastic plus a sprue of clear plastic. Number one, we start with the building the seat. It has four parts to it. And then we go and we build the cockpit. You got the cockpit floor. You see there's two seats and two instrument panels. And these uh, st and two sticks that go in there. So number two, we put the cockpit into the bottom of the fuselage piece here, put the fuselage together, and we have four part intake that goes on there. Number three, we build the wings together. Here, number four, we're putting the wings on the fuselage, put the horizontal stabilizers in. <clears throat> we have these intakes that go in the front here. And some parts here to the cockpit, the front panel and the back panel here, and another separator. So number five, See, we build the exhaust, we have the tail hook here, which is pretty simply for it here. And we put the main and the nose landing gear in, we have pre-assemblies for all of that. Plus the landing gear bay doors as well. So we have here for two versions, we have our nose cone, and then you have... You have your nose cone with a pre-assembly here with the pitted tube and the two parts. So put that on, and here you have the option with this part, with uh, with these two pieces here. And we put the canopy on in this step. You also have an open canopy option here. Number seven, we build the munitions. We have, looks like MRAMs and Sidewinders, external fuel tanks. And then it's a really fast build. Here we have our common markings. Here you also have uh, instructions for the instrument panel. Here we have our markings for our, our weapons and our pylons. So here we have the first version A is a US version. Stations at Stenberg Air Force, Air Force ba Air Base in the Netherlands in 1970. There's a Japanese version, Hayakuri Air Base, Japan 2004. Version C is an Israeli version from 1969. And the version D is Australian version from 1970 from Emberley Air Base. So here we have our decal sheet. You see a really large sheet. It's uh, bigger than A4. We have our different markings for the U.S. version, the Japanese version, Australian, Israeli, common markings, instrument panel. We have our seat belts here. So it look, it, it, the colors look good. It looks really good. You have a lot of options to build here and some nice decals to put on it too. So here we have sprue A. Externally, it really has really good, uh, nice and, and great panel lines. <coughs> See, there's two different nose cones here. There's one of the instrument panels, and it's but it's bare. There's one of the instrument panels, but it's bare. Um, so you have to use the decals for it. You can't paint it. The decals on, uh, can't paint the details on it. The exhaust looked pretty good. And some detail inside of it. There's no detail here on the inside of the canopy though. Or cockpit, I mean. And the sides. I guess it all comes with the separate piece. So here we have sprue B. Here we have more uh, the bottom part of the wings. Once again, it has nice and great detail on it. 
these wheel bay doors also look good the landing gear looks good and there, here is the instrument panel with detail on it this one as well has detail on it even the inside of the wheel wheel bay doors look pretty good So here we have our next sprue, sprue C. Here we have the top of the wings, our, our horizontal stabilizers, <clears throat> as well as our intakes and these other other doors here. Once again, the wings have nice engra engraved detail. The horizontal stabilizers look good as well. The leading edge looks good there. The outside of the intakes looks good. And these interior parts of the the uh, Intakes look good, but here it's going to require a lot of cleanup, filling and sanding to get it smooth and straight. You can't put it in like that. Even if you're not going to be able to see it that well, it, it's still going to be seeable. So you're going to want to fill in those holes. Inside of the wheelbase also looks good here. They even got some lines in there, which is nice. So here we have sprue D. <clears throat> this has our cockpit, the bottom of the nose with the landing gear bay, and the pilot seat, well the sides of them, as well as all the weapons and the wheels. And here's the seats too. See the inside of the cockpit looks okay, but there's some stuff missing on the floor I think. Maybe some cables go there. Um, the inside of the wheel bay looks really good I think. And the weapons look good too. The seats look good as well. Like I said, these have seat belts uh, molded into it. There was more seat belts on the instructions. It looked like. I mean, on the on the decal sheet. I mean, the wheels look good as well, and the weapons look good. I think the seats look uh, good. There's only a pin mark on the bottom, which is so not a problem there. The tail hook is like I don't know. I always thought the tail tail hook on these were a little weird. It's so so it's a thick piece like that. I know on the World War II aircraft it was a, a, a lot thinner, but you know this is also a heavier aircraft. It probably needs a sturdier tail hook. So our last sprue is this clear sprue here. We have a couple lights there, as well as our canopy. It's really nice, clear canopy too. It's not very thick. I think it's gonna be really nice. So I think this model kit will turn out really good. There's only, the only problem I really see with it is all those pin marks on the inside of the intake. That's going to be a nightmare to clean up and fill and sand and then finally get it painted. But other than that, I think it looks good. Just one little problem with the kit. It's still a decent kit. I do recommend it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And next time we're going to take a look at this uh, Merkava Mark 3D from the Israeli Defense Force from Hoppy Boss in 135 scale. So until then, have a great week and see you then.